and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have this 4 it's a 2006 with a 6 inch lift, it's a V8. We put on some tracks on it and we're going to go drive around town, get some reactions and hopefully find some people we could rescue. So there's a couple things I'd want to cover. What it's like driving with the tracks, uh, what, how it handles, turning, uh, volume, stopping power, and overall just show how it does driving around on ice, snow. In general, I'm pretty impressed with the uh, ride quality, but we'll, we'll go one by one and show some clips of how it does for the rest. So one thing that a lot of people wonder about is how hard it is to install these tracks. Um, these tracks are actually very simple to install overall. They go on just the same way a wheel would. Um, for us, we were running a Toyota to a Ford adapter. So I had to take those off and then put on a two inch spacer to clear the uh, control arms for the track and then put the track on. So it took us about an hour, you know, first time plus the spacers. Um, so that, that was pretty straightforward though. And then one thing we didn't have was limiting straps. So the limiting straps would keep the wheel from road, the track from rotating like a wheel and flipping inside your wheel well. And that's something we look to get down the road. Um, but for now, you know, as long as you're careful, you know, you have that problem. All in all, um, this is something anyone could do in their driveway, you know, with just floor jack and a couple simple tools. pit stop over here uh, check wax make sure everything's all good thing does 50 surprisingly so we'll just go ahead and keep cruising around see what we can find uh, overall the tracks drive pretty good it's a bit rough compared to tires for obvious reasons um, we, we did about 50 on them uh, I know most people recommend to go like 40 maximum but they do pretty good going 50 uh, stopping power on them is better than tires definitely. I was kind of worried we might skate because it's all iced over here. Uh, they do pretty good stopping and overall, I mean, traction's a bit too much, honestly. We were hoping to do some donuts on it. Can't really do that, can't lose traction. So for now, we're just cruising around, hopefully finding deep, deeper snow, maybe find some people and yeah, we'll keep you posted. A question people might have about tracks is what it's what the volume's like. Um, I can tell you it's definitely not like tires and it sounds like a tank. For steering, uh, it's pretty responsive, a lot like normal tires. Not a, not quite as responsive, but that could be just because of the snow and ice. And uh, the play is pretty similar to the stock. It's it's nothing too crazy. It's pretty doable. First casualty here. As you'd expect, putting a track on as a wheel isn't exactly the safest way to install tracks. They do pretty good on flat ground on small bumps, but you're going up this little hill right here, back down and hook the dip and flip. So you'd expect, I guess, since there's no limit straps or anything, but that's something we'll be looking into next is how to reinforce that to avoid having the tracks flip on trails. So right now we're gonna be track back. The excavator couldn't handle it, it has a maximum 2,000 pound capacity. Um, so we're gonna grab some four by sixes, stack them up, and then here we go. So it's full drooped right now, but it's just hooking everything here, so I have to figure out how to do that. Tim, the wood's sliding, the wood's sliding. Um, the wood is. Maybe turn driver now? Yeah, I'll try to turn the other way. Yeah, turn driver really slowly. Sweet. Now we got it. And now we're back to rigging. Yeah. 